Good morning, and welcome to wet Winnipeg. <laughs> yeah, right now it's, it's raining as I speak. <laughs> I can see the raindrops bouncing off the top of my car out there. However, the uh, weather people say that uh, possibly around 3 o'clock this afternoon, There'll be no rain. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Might get out for a quick scoot again. I did get out yesterday. I, I just got out and back before it started to rain, so it, it worked out. Anyway, oh, speaking of motorcycles. Now, got a comment again. Uh, so another person suggested, I think it was Jarrell, su suggested uh, to the effect of, have you tried the Honda Goldwing? Well, the answer to that is no, I haven't. I haven't been on anything that heavy since I learned on a big Harley back when I was a kid. That's the last big heavy bike that I was ever on. And uh, anyway, uh, the, the problem is that the, uh, the Honda Goldwings, most, as far as I can tell, any, anybody that's got a, one that you can take out to, to try out, uh, it's got the, uh, I, what do you call that thing that's on the back over the over the back seat that makes it look big and comfortable and you know the big passenger thing with the armrests and all the rest of it? I think somebody referred to it as the throw-in or or something like that. Anyway, I I can't get my leg or, or over that. I can't swing my leg up and over it. I have to sort of drag my leg over the back fender, and the uh, basic Honda Goldwing bagger, uh, I I can do that. I think. I haven't tried it, so I don't know. Uh, anyway, it's, it's hard to find a, a, a basic Goldwing that's a demo. And, and someone that's going to let me actually try it out. Uh, they'll take one look at me and say, no, you're not, you're not uh, going to be playing with my bike. <laughs> anyway, Bill Cycle got back to me in an email yesterday. And... Uh, I, I had earlier asked them, how much extra would I have to pay, you know, if I give them my bike? Well, first of all, they, I found out that, yes, they do take trades. And then I sent them another email and asked them, well, what, what, how much extra would I have to pay? And they did get back to me, and they said, I want to get this right here. Maybe I'll, I'll drop the exact amount down in the bottom of the screen, but I think it was just under 23000 Canadian dollars plus my bike. Uh, that would put a, put a pretty big dent into my savings account. I don't know. Uh, that, that's, uh, that would buy an awful lot of, uh, trumpeter y Yamatos. <laughs> yeah, like about, uh, 23 of them. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, that's, it's going to take a lot of thinking. A lot of thinking, uh. Especially being is that the bike that I've got now is great. It's great. <laughs> I guess I'm thinking the Goldwing would be greater. <laughs> anyway, what are we going to do today here? The plan for today is I'm going to use a combination of uh, uh, Chris's alligator clips and my self-locking tweezers. And uh, I'm going to get set up and try and clamp onto these parts. Um... Yeah. Now th these ones here, maybe I should I should recompose. I'll recompose because you can't really see. Uh, yeah, what, what I'm planning on doing. Because if you remember, I have to, we have to paint the push rods blue on the on those uh, rocker rocker arms and what have you. Uh, is there any other push rods that have to be painted blue at the same time? I should maybe look ahead here. No, I, I think I think we do have everything cut. Yeah, I think we do have all the parts cut. Okay, <clears throat> they're just not all painted. But that's the plan. We'll try and get some of this stuff painted uh, today. Um, okay, let's uh, let's get it. Oh, the sunrise. Obviously, there's not going to be a sunrise. The walkers may have come by, but if they did, I'm almost sure they were carrying umbrellas. So, uh, I'll, I'll see if I can spot them. You know, I, I just have to 
run run the, the footage back in my surveillance system. It doesn't take actually that long. I, I know I, I don't have to sit there for hours. <laughs> it's I can fast forward through it. So we'll see we'll see if I can find them. Anyway, I'm starting to lose my train of thought here, and I'm talking while I'm thinking about other stuff, and it never works with me. Uh, let's let's uh, recompose here, and we'll we'll talk about. Uh, this stuff here because that's what we're going to work on today all being well okay I had started to talk about these uh, pieces here these rocker arms and push rods and uh, what I was thinking is that I can hold on to the push rod while I'm painting the rocker arm and then when we're painting the push rod blue I can hold on to the rocker arm. I think that'll work out okay. But when I was setting up here to video this right now, I was realizing that, well, wait a minute. Some of these pieces we, we have to assemble into little, you may call them mini modules. Like I believe this piece here, and this piece here, and I think it's this pipe right here all have to be put together as one little module. Then we could paint it. It would be a little better to paint it then. Um, and then there's the uh, the part that requires the uh, piece of photo etch. Yeah, I think it, it goes with, with this piece. And I'm not sure, but it might be this piece here. And, uh, and somehow these pieces have to be I guess CA glued onto it. So we should be doing all that before we paint. I do think we're going to paint today, but uh, maybe you won't get as much done as I had hoped. Uh, some of these parts, I'm wondering if I can do, have a different way of hanging onto them when I mount them on, on little sticks, like this one here, for instance. What, what I've been doing in the past is I've been taking one of Gabe's swabs and just putting it on the bottom here and then using a little bit of CA glue. But I'm going to try something different. I'm going to see if maybe a tiny little, you might call it dollop, of, uh, of the uh, sticky putty. <laughs> I forgot the name of it. Oh my goodness. I'm getting worried about myself here. Um, yeah, I might be able to use a blue tack. Blue tack. I knew it would come to me eventually. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get going here. Maybe maybe we'll just try and, and put these these three pieces together and uh, see how it's supposed to go. Good morning. Good morning. Max has got a dental appointment? Yes, it missed me in a long time. We went, it was an 8.30 appointment. Boy, it's after 10 now. This month is going to be so sore. It was pretty sore last time. They had okay, let, let me so break Missy this. So and I went on a real walk. We went across the bridge and we went around the kitty park over there and back. It's a beautiful morning. Will it stop raining? Yeah. Uh, we got a little bit of a teeny, teeny shower for two or three minutes from a cloud as we came back up on the other side, but nothing that lasted. Yeah, she feels she feels damp, but That's not wet. she's running in the grass. Yeah. For whatever reason, she's happy, and she doesn't mind getting wet this morning. <laughs> see you. We'll see you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. No Max today with the... Max and Missy show. All right, I saw the car leave a while ago, and I kind of knew that uh, he had a doctor's a, a dentist appointment. So, yeah, okay. All right, back to the model table here. I'm gonna try and get these pieces together. Missy the dog. Missy the dog. 
Okay. Now we'll get back at this. Okay, now this piece here should be fairly easy to put on. And it looks like what I'm holding on to here right now is a positioning peg that when we later try to plug this module into the into the block, the motor block, we'll, we'll get it in the right place. So this just has to go in, see as we turn this around, because we have to have it at this orientation here. And uh, Yeah, you know, I think we'll just put a little bit of extra thin in that hole and it should glue up nicely here. Now let's get not get too rambunctious here and and accidentally knock something over. Now it, it won't take very much. Maybe I should have done a dry run. Okay, it's in. Okay, does it look like it's straight? Okay, let's just give that a couple of minutes. Then we gotta try and put this this piece here on, on the side here. Now oh looks like it's it's leaked all the way through to my Oh that that's not that's not right. It's gone all the way through. I thought that that I wonder if I should be pulling this back a little bit. Yeah, that's uh it it doesn't say how far in it's supposed to go. It it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I wonder if, let's get it straightened out here because it's gonna start to dry. Um Hmm I can well imagine that there were some of you screaming at your screen saying you're plugging it in the wrong way. Well, fortunately, 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 I saw my mistake when I was studying the, the, uh, the manual here. And uh, I was able to see, wait a minute, this long piece plugs in because I was trying to see where, did, where does it plug in? And it, it plugs in on the back of the engine here. So the glue was still <clears throat> you know, soft enough that I was able to rehydrate it, drop some glue down in this in this hole here, where the where the short pin now is, and I was able to slowly work it out. And there's still a few little plastic threads, I guess spider webs. Anyway, I think once this is painted, it's going to be okay. But we now have the problem of this other piece here. And it has to fasten onto the side here. Uh, we'll move in a little closer. You know, I, I'm wondering why why is it that Trumpeter was able to there was somebody there was somebody at my door. I think it was somebody delivering flyers. Okay, anyway, uh, sorry about that. Why is it the trumpeter, you know, molded molded this piece on? Right, right here. This pipe is on. Why, why didn't they do this one as well? There must be a reason for it. Maybe because of the way the the molds come together. It, it just couldn't get the angles right. I don't know. There must be a reason for it. Anyway, uh, let's try and figure that one out. Okay, I had been thinking that it's probably going to be really hard to glue this pipe, this end right here, onto the side. But you know, 
looking at the way from from this drawing here, it looks like if it it almost well it won't fall into place, but I can probably almost let gravity be our friend here, and we we can glue the pipe that I'm holding on to right now on top of this pipe right here. I don't know if I can do this on camera or not. Uh, I'm going to give it a try. Maybe get my might get my camera out of the road here because my head is almost bumping on it. Okay, let's let's, uh, let's uh, recompose here and uh, see what we can do. Okay, here's the plan. I'm going to try and hold this part in place here. Just so it doesn't move around when I'm twisting on it here. Okay, that should that should keep it basically in place. Uh, I want I want this area here to be more or less centered when I rotate it, and I think it basically is. Let me check the screen. Yeah, it should be all right. Now. I think the best way to go with this is to to moisten the top of this of this one right here. And then this is going to stick to it. Um Let's just see how this is going to go here. to be using different tweezers. These ones are kind of hooked and they're uh, they're good for holding on to but I'm going to get a, a flatter pair. Okay, I wonder maybe I should just re-moisten here now. position and drop it down. Maybe. Yes. It's almost perfect. It's almost perfect. Now if I can get a little bit of melding going on right here where this connection is, I think that it should work. Okay, I know it looks like a lot there, but most of that will evaporate. And hopefully we're going to end up with uh, with plastic on plastic. Just let me see if I can just push this together just a little bit. Uh, I think that's going to be okay. Let's, let's just leave that and see what we got in a few minutes. You know, speaking of a few minutes, a few minutes ago, uh, I saw the sun come out. No, it's not out right now, but it was. Okay. Well, the sun is trying to come out right now. So I guess you know what that means, right? Yeah, I'm gonna wind her up. Didn't get the painting done that I thought we were gonna, but that's the story of my life. I start out today, seven, eight in the morning, and I say, well, this is the plan. <laughs> no, never works out, but that's all right. I'm having a good time. Uh, thanks for joining me again at the model table. 
All being well, we're gonna see you tomorrow.